when all you have is nine planks of wood in an endless ocean with no land anywhere, creating your floating Minecraft world gets tricky. And in hardcore mode, it's even harder. Can I survive to make something awesome? Well, let's find out. It's Raft Block Hardcore 100 Days, I hope. It's day 20 on this hardcore raft block and all sorts of things have happened. Look at the playlist, seriously, this has gone mental. It all went horribly wrong. I was on day 50 for goodness sake, but the game hates me. So now I'm on day 20 again. Objectives for this episode is we want to do a little bit of exploring. I need to make myself a mob farm. I want to build underneath the raft and make that look all fancy. And I want to build on top of the raft and make that look all fancy as well. So it's quite a lot for me to do. So I reckon this one could be quite a long one. And I still haven't caught a fish. I've been here for ages. Why? Have I not had a fish? Come on. Is that all I get? A salmon. I need some blocks. So I'm going under the ground. I'm going to do some digging. I need some sand. I need some cobble. I need some other bits and pieces. In fact, I need quite a lot. So let's dig for a while. And on day 21, I decided I needed a lot more wood as well. And I figured I'd sort myself out with a little bit of spruce as well now. Now, I want to make some different types of stone. So rather than mess around, I'm just going to make myself a stone cutter quickly because I think that's probably the quickest way of doing it. I'll bang it on there. And then in there, I could be able to make myself some stone brick and more specifically, some chiseled stone. And for day 22, I was making up a load of stone so as I can make up a load of stone bricks and chiseled stone bricks. And I've got another barrel to fuel my barrel addiction. And it's... Yeah, it's still quite average. And by day 23, I had just about enough of what I needed. I've placed a few stone brick blocks inside of these blocks here, because this is gonna be the start of where we're gonna be building up. I'm gonna go one and two, and then I'm gonna place one of those. I'm gonna go one and two and three, and place one of those. I'm gonna go one, two and three, and place one of those. However, I am now quite high. I'm a little bit worried. If I do, where's my bucket? I'm not very good at these, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna gamble. I'm just gonna there you go. I did it that time, that was quite impressive. Look at me all clever. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna build a ladder up to the top and then I'm gonna go as high as I can with these blocks. And I'm getting a little bit nervous going up and down it now because it's quite a long way up and I don't wanna die. And up here, I'm gonna build myself a platform that I can build off of. So there's the start of the platform, but now what I've got to do is I've got to build up these legs all the way up on all of these sides. And this unsurprisingly is taking an awful lot longer than I thought it would because each of these pillars, I've got to build it up and then I've got to go back down the ladder and build the next one. But you know, we're getting there slowly. And by the morning of day 25, I'd managed to finish off this part of the structure, only this part of the structure, mind, but it looks all right. I've also done a little bit more at the top because I don't trust myself from falling off of it. That is certain death for that long drop. I'm not kidding you. And I very nearly did it twice. Now, what I want to do is build a platform in the middle here. So right where this torch is, which is the very center of the platform, I'm just going to pop a little block there so I know exactly where I am. And then I'm going to pop another block and a slab there. So it's like half away up. It's a bottom slab. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to place that bottom slab there. I'm going to get rid of the one that's underneath it because I don't need it. I don't want to waste it. And I'm going to make a three by three platform out of these bottom slabs. So they're not going to be spawnable. So nothing can get in my way. And actually, I'm going to place that back down in the middle as well. No, I'm not going to fish it. I'm going to place that back down in the middle as well, just to light up this area in case it is spawnable. I'm then going to grab myself some stairs and I'm going to place some stairs around the outside, but I'm gonna leave myself a gap. That means I can get up on top of this because I need to build a drop chute that is 22 blocks tall. But unfortunately, I need even more cobble so I can smelt it up and make more stone bricks because I've run out. And so started the grueling task of towering it up. This is 10 high, I've got another, what, 12 to go after this and I really don't wanna fall down the inside because that would be bad. And now I'm at the top, I can build these out. I need to come out nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I'm gonna do that on all four of these directions. I'm gonna run out of stone again, this is terrible. And just as I was coming for some more cobblestone, oh, hang on, there's water there. Let me get rid of that water, let's pop that. I opened up another part of possibly the same mine shaft. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just gonna light it up and I'm gonna have a bit of an explore. 
because I wonder whether or not there could be some more treasure down here that might be worth having a look at. But I managed to block myself off with lava, which wasn't really the brightest thing to do. But I did it anyway. I guess this was the shortest mineshaft adventure I've ever had, this particular one. Although while I was exploring, I did find another opening. Whoops, but I almost fell down a hole. I didn't realize, it. let's just block that up with gravel because then I can. Right, looking this way, doesn't look like there is any mobs on this side, but... Oh, this is another rubbish one. It's all underneath me, isn't it? I'm going to get all of this stuff, and also I'm going to collect up all the leaves, lovely things, because I'm going to use those for decoration a little bit later on. I thought I'd come down just to have a little look, see if there was anything worth battering. So I'm just, but I still can't work out where the grumbling is coming from. So I'm just going to fill up that hole. Because this is just... This is just another rubbish little thing as well. There's got to be something worth having around here somewhere, surely. I'm just going to dig around a bit. Well, I found one of them, so I'm going to hit him a lot. And I'm assuming they're all behind this wall, all the growlings. So, is there any more? Yeah, there is. Let's just keep on bashing. Oh, there's a few more, but they can't actually get to me because of these. Look, so let's just bash them a lot. With the sword, ideally, not the fishing rod. Also, we've got a creeper. The creeper can explode. I don't mind the creeper exploding. So I got more stone, turned it into more stone bricks, and now I'm up on day 27 building out this thing. So I'm going to come up and widen this up so as that's like that. And then what I can do is I can trim this around all the way down. No, not there. There, there. Take that out and then trim this. One, two, three, four, five six and then this one as well and build a wall all the way around it and do this on all four sides as well and then i'll start to get this mob farm because yeah obviously it's a mob farm i'm making well and truly finished so i've got most of this tray bit done all the trap doors are now laid out so i'm going to open up the trap doors now i've left myself my escape route just over there you can see that i've got to work out i'm going to get down that as well because i'm not entirely certain i'm going to pop these all down i've got them three wide now normally you'd only do these two wide but i do them three wide because then i've got a three by three hole in the middle here that the water flows over and that means spiders do fall down rather than climb back up again you've got a fighting chance of actually getting some spiders in your mob farm which is always a good thing and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to place a water bucket there a water bucket there i'm going to refill both my buckets from the middle because that is an infinite water source and do that on all four sides and obviously i've run out of stone again i gotta go and get some more what is it they say about failing to plan and of course i found a little bit more of the mine shaft because that was inevitable wasn't it as i was digging around this bit's quite, oops, bad spoiler, I do already go down there just yet. Let me just put that light on. I don't want that to start generating spids. That would be bad for me right now. I'm not ready for that. I'll come back though, because that could be handy later. And somehow I've managed to release a skeleton into my tunnel, which is not something I wanted to do. I am ironed up, but I don't want to leave him there because he'll just come and bash me. So I'm just going to have a go at him. I'm going to hide here. And when he comes around the corner, I'm going to hit him a lot and he can't hit me as much as he wants to then i get some extra bones and i have to go and work out where the dark is now the dark must be over here look is that could that be the dark i reckon that's it i reckon that was the only spot the whole spot there was that for goodness sake and after what feels like an eternity on the morning of day 30 i start putting the lid on this thing i didn't think i was ever going to get there and you know what's going to happen don't you it's not going to blooming work we'll test it in a minute and actually this is the night time of day 31 because guess what i ran out of stone again i probably didn't count and i still ran out of stone but i decided to make a pretty pattern in the back of me because i figured that, that little bit of light would stop spawning on top of here and it won't stop spawning inside the farm so what i've got to do is i've got to get my boot I'm going to pop my boat down here, that will do, and then I can jump in my boat and just bash myself off into wherever it is I land. I'm not going to hurt myself. Oh, and I actually fell into the water, so that's quite handy. And then up there, oh look, oh, that's not what anybody wants to see, definitely not. Um, right, let's see if we can tempt it into the water, because how did that get there? That's worrying. How did that happen there? Well, it's worried me enough to want to get rid of this. I do love those large trees, though. Look at how much spruce I got out of it. That's amazing. Plus, I managed to strip one by mistake, so I'll probably have to strip spruce now, won't I? Actually, I don't mind. I quite like strip spruce. But now it's the moment of truth. I'm just going to dump off this stuff here. 
and I want to pop up and just see whether or not we're getting any mobs because we might not even get any if we're not getting any I'm very very sad but we might not get any until I've been up here a little bit because there might be mobs under the ground that are now not going to be spawn because I was down at the bottom I have no idea if this is going to work if it doesn't work I need you to tell me in the comments why this is not working because theoretically it should be working I really really hope it works but at the minute it's not working now I know that this does work passively and as a result of it working passively I have to wait for mobs to actually walk across those trap doors but they will and should find their way around there so if I hang around for a little bit we might get a few mobs popping along I'm a little bit worried what the problem is is I'm not far enough from the ground for any mobs oh there we go I knew it's gonna work I knew it oi fella look don't yeah just just bash there of course what I can't now do is get the drops and not getting the drops is kind of pointless so if I grab that there we go so there are mobs spawning up there that is working theoretically but it's not exactly flowing them down is it I don't want to go too close because if I go too close what's going to happen is the creepers are going to explode the bloody thing aren't they oh look the spiders are there though spiders can still climb up that's rubbish I can see this is going to be slow and steady wins the race however what I was really hoping was that it would fly them in so as I could at some point get a zombie villager but I think I'm probably just going to get stuff really really slow so in the comments how can I make it go quicker if it's slow for the rest of this series it's your fault I've not got time to mess about with that anymore I've got proper building to do it's day 32 for goodness sake and I'm going to start by extending out these piers another little bit because I want to build an extra circle around the outside but I don't want it to be 45 around I want it to be a bit bigger which means taking out the tree platforms at least for now by the morning of day 33 I was ready to build my 57 wide circle and for now I'd better make sure that I light it up as well otherwise we're going to end up with mobs on it again I don't want that By the middle of the day on day 36, I'd managed to build out a platform with loads of space on it. And I incorporated some of this oak to give a different sort of color, because to be honest, all of that brown just looks a little bit too flat. But now I've got to stop it from being just a platform. I need to make it into something. So I think I'm gonna get some farms out here. And obviously for that, I needed more stone. I love banging through this stone. I should probably do a real big stone session. And on day 39, I've very nearly finished up these farms. I'm trimming it around with waterlogged stairs. Not because I necessarily want waterlogged stairs, but I actually quite like the way the color is offset against the stone and the dirt and those boards as well. That looks quite cool. I'm gonna plant them up. And by day 40, I had tree farms, I had wood farms, I had food farms, I had more tree farms. I was quite pleased with the way this was turning out. I'm gonna head on back up to the mob farm because I'm gonna put some hoppers in there. I just realized I've got loads of iron. I might as well make it collect the stuff automatically, right? So I've got a load of hoppers there now, and if I kill that, that should collect it up very nicely. And into my chest they go, brilliant. It might be slow, but at least at least now I can bash them without having to collect the stuff out of the middle. And I decided to go for more stone and I ended up coming down to Y11. This was my mistake. I'd been mining for all my stone at about Y20. I have no idea why I'd done that. I'm an idiot. But now as a result, I'm going to get some more diamonds because frankly, I'm bored of being in iron. And having my first iron pick really, really makes me feel a whole lot better about myself. And now I feel a little bit more diamonded. Look at those leggings and boots. I feel so much better about myself. I'm going to start building these walls up. One more high so as I can bring a ceiling across and then start the second floor. And I reckon up and down by this ladder should work all the way up to the top. And seeing as it's day 42, already I really need to get a wriggle on and I've started building up the second floor here and I'm going to strip a load of this spruce wood of course what this means is I'm going to need a load more spruce wood but for the time being I'm just going to strip this first layer and I can start to detail the bottom layer get all of this flooring because I think I need to enclose myself and start to build up this structure so this structure kind of gets consumed so what we've got is the mob farm kind of on the roof I found another barrel let's have a look I'm really excited You'd have thought by now, really, I would have learned to live with a disappointment, wouldn't you? Because that's even more rubbish than the last one. I am going to wean myself off of this addiction, I'm telling you. I'm going to need so much wood for this, it's ridiculous. Oh, 
hopefully I've got enough now because you never know how many slabs you're going to use for this. For some reason it always seems like you don't need as many as you actually do. I'm getting through stacks and stacks of them. This is looking all right. It's protected from me falling down. I made it a mezzanine because I nearly ran out of slabs. But I can get down dead easy up and down this ladder like that. Back to my underside. Got to make sure this is properly lit up. I think it probably is. I don't want anything spawning down here. But I think I can now start to think about moving this stuff because it's in the way. Developing this out so it's got better storage. And then developing a sleeping area up at the top. And I know it's never good to do sleeping up at the top. But come on. I need a little bit of room at the bottom, don't I? So this should be perfect. And I can make this living. I can build up all around this wall here. And then I can do another floor above this as well. Which is going to mean a whole lot more choppy downy treey stuff. And this one will be the first. So I spent the next few days gathering resources, mostly wood, collecting barrels for what they're worth now, and reorganizing the entire storage system of the base so I can keep more blocks. I also made an auto smelter section along one wall so I could try and speed up that process too. And before I knew it, I was at day 50. So we are halfway through this 100 day challenge and I think it's not too bad so far. I've managed to get myself a nice living area at the top. This wall is starting to grow. The trees are also starting to grow. Down here, I've managed to organize things quite nicely, I think. I've got some automatic smelting. Yeah, I grant you I've got to put the fuel in manually, but everything else runs through on its own, so I can just put a load of fuel in it. I've got everything labeled up. It is looking pretty smart. And I've also got plenty of resources to be able to build the next stage of the base. So I reckon we're going to stop that there. Day 50, not too shabby. We had quite a decent time on this one. If you're enjoying it, please do let me know in the comments below if you want me to do the next 50 days. That'll be fantastic because I'm really enjoying it. And obviously do the likey, subscribey stuff as well if you haven't already. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.